remember when i was in your your age your time you know during my time during my time when we have class by 10 <laughs> i used to be in class by 9 40. <laughs> How will I be able to tell them? You know, like I feel like I don't know if your parents are in that shoes or like maybe you've heard stuff like that from your parents. Like, you know, I remember when I was like you, I used to go to class early, I used to be the first position. If every parent is the first, whose parents was now the last in the class? <laughs> if every parent was the first, whose parents was now the last? If every parent was the serious one in class, whose parents was now the serious one, you know? Good afternoon, guys! How are you guys doing? So, I just came in from the fabric store and I got a couple of things at the fabric store that I'm gonna show you guys what, you know, what I got. And that is because, like, I have to make this outfit, right? So I think in terms of the cost, like if you are comparing like the cost of the raw materials or like the fabric to Nigeria, I think it's quite expensive. But then again, the moment the moment you stop converting, I think the better for you because it just it just kind of like makes sense, you know. When you keep converting, you're gonna feel like oh it's too expensive or you're spending a lot or stuff like that. So anyways i got this fabric um let me show you this is what the inside looks like and this is what the back looks like right so this is boarding or like breast pad is actually used to like um pad the balls to give like a form of structure so this is not the regular wording that i'm used to in nigeria you know i even had to like pick this to substitute for the wording because it's quite a very small fabric store you know and it was very difficult to just tell them what i want or what i needed but i think i was able to figure this out and the fact that i got like a meter of it i'm like i could have just gotten like half meter so just in case if it gives me what i want then i can go ahead and buy both also because i just like to buy things in bulk where i don't have to keep on going up and down so i don't know we're gonna try this together this is what the normal um bustier to give your bust some kind of structure and then i bought um paper stay this is like the regular nigerian paper stay so i got half meter in white and i got half meter in black i really don't need this now but it's okay so i just got them like half half meter then i also got um color stay i wanted to get queen line but i was trying to express to them that this is what i want but i think it was just like they didn't have it in store actually and i'm yet to figure out like other stores where they sell fabrics that i can shop from so but i'm still gonna have the same effect at the end of the day so i got color stay i got about half meter because i'm just using it for the sleeve alone so we have two dresses to make two different dresses one is actually very urgent i need to make one within two to three days and then the other one i need to make it like once i'm done making the first one within two to three days so let me show you guys what the fabric looks like and so this fabric so you can actually place your orders for any kind of dress any kind of design fabrics are available we have a lot of fabrics to pick from and you can just like shop so the link to my website is going to be in the description box and you can also follow us on instagram or facebook and just send us a message right you can check out our email address also in the description box just to place your order so um my customer chose this fabric is actually very cute is a cute fabric actually and our fabrics are 100 percent cutting so we are making like a man-made dress with this right i'm gonna show you guys once i'm done and for the second one this is actually the one that is urgent that i just have to make like look at how the blue is blending together but this is the fabric of you know the second order 
yeah and i'm so grateful thank you so much for supporting my business and if you haven't patronized me yet please all you have to do is to shop promote anything as little as a drop it goes a long way so and i think also that um you know when you are, when you are trying to um, when you relocate right or you're trying to start your business afresh in another city especially when it's another country you should also be open to be able to substitute certain things for other things and also make sure that they able to give you like the same value right so yeah let's get to work i'm going to show you guys what it looks like um and i'm also so excited because yeah, I'm so excited because like the love, the support, the expect like me just posting casually have been amazing and thank you so so much for every of your order. It means a lot to me. So I need to get back to work. But before then I have to eat. I'm just coming back from class. I need to cut today. At least cut one of them. I'm just dealing with this one. So <coughs> so for today. I will just try to cut, draft the pattern, and then also cut. So in terms of pattern, I ordered like pattern paper, and my pattern paper hasn't arrived yet. I think I should expect my pattern paper next week. So I'm going to substitute using normal paper to serve as pattern paper, right? It's, it's actually going to give me like the same effect. The only thing is just that I have to go through the stress of joining papers together, right? But it's actually very fine. As long as at the end of the day, I'm able to achieve the main aim which is cutting on the pattern and making sure that my customers dresses are fit so in a couple of maybe two days i should get my pattern paper here and also i order pretty much other things also that are coming with that so let's just get ready today's goal is to draft the pattern and then cut so maybe tomorrow then i go ahead and so thank you guys good morning guys it's a beautiful monday morning and i have presentation today guys i have to this presentation today so i'm supposed to present my chapter two of my thesis today during our thesis seminar class but guess who has not even started the chapter two yet Guess who has not started yet? Me. This is life of a lazy student. Period. There is there is no excuse. There is no reason why I have presentation today, and I haven't even done it. I haven't even started. It is simply because I am a lazy student. Period. Anyways, I have presentation today. But I'm not sure I'm going to present because I have not done it at all. So I woke up early to see if I can try to do something. So just in case if I'm being asked that, uh, you know, where, where, where have you got into your thesis? I can have something to say even though I might not present today. And also because like I think we have about four or five people that have to present today. And then we have limited time. So it simply means that mm -mm -mm, it might not get to everybody before the time is up but if everybody is like me thinking that i don't need to do it because it might not get to me then that is that it's going to be in trouble because if we are like five and we have to present within that short time and me i me i'm like if the four of them do it and they present it won't get to me what if that is what everybody's thinking but i know there are some serious students that will definitely do it but anyway i woke up early i usually wake up early on a normal day and i'm trying to work on my thesis so my agenda for today because it's monday is to start like vlogging also to vlog the week i don't know how the week is going to be but i'm also going to vlog it um why my to do list for today is to vlog it and then guys we're supposed to have i think four classes today including our thesis but guess what I just feel like I'm going to title this part of this video Day in the life of a lazy student Because there is nothing you want to tell me Apart from the fact that <laughs> I'm lazy Okay So um, one of the professors we have the class today It's not, it's not going to be around or available So it he cancelled the class to fix it some other time So it simply means that we're not going to have to lectures today 
I'm so happy. I know that some people are not always happy when they cancel classes or when they don't have classes, but lazy girls like me, lazy students like me, we are always happy. And then I remember like in the class last week, it was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'll be available next week. I'm traveling to um, Czech Republic. I don't think I'll be available. I'm so sorry for the inconveniences. And I'm like, don't say it again. Don't say it again. Ah, ah. Sorry for me, she convinced Sorry for <laughs> And I'm like, which inconveniences? Which inconveniences are you talking about? No, you're yeah, not inconveniencing me by not coming. No. <laughs> that is what I love. <laughs> Anyways, don't be like me, okay? Me, I'm just lazy, 100% lazy. So for me, I'm just like, there's no inconvenience there's no inconvenience at all i woke up pretty early so that i can work on my scissors and i don't know like i changed like my glasses i don't know if this fits me um better the only issue or part of the issue i had i used to have with my glasses by the way my glasses are recommended glasses is the fact that when i bend like this they fall off my face they don't really sit like sit on my face so when i bend it's kind of like follow so it simply means that i have to use like my hand to like keep adjusting it i don't know if i'm the only one that has that issue but but anyways it's cute that's why i actually prefer the other one because that one sits on my face like perfectly i don't adjust anything it's always like very firm on the face but i was just like i'm tired of having that look i want to change the look of my glasses so let me tell you guys what the time is this is past seven I'm going to work on my scissors to pass it. One hour on it. My agenda for today, um, work on my scissors early this morning. Um, I also have to attend um, classes, which is like the other classes that, the other classes that are not cancelled. Um, and also, I also have to deliver a dress, right? So over the weekend, I made like a dress. I'm gonna show you guys when I'm packing the dress. I'm done sewing it, but I need to iron and then package it and then ship the dress also. And this is also my first time like um shipping internationally or shipping actually here in Poland. So I need to check out like two or three delivery companies to know which is best so to know which is best and cheaper and faster just to like i can help my customers and my clients to reduce the cost of shipping so maybe i'm gonna do that after class because if i go before class trust me i might not end up at any the class so i will need to iron and also package before class let's just get started I'm after i still go 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 want to quickly fix in the label like i'm done sewing actually just to fix in the label this is what it looks like yeah cg designs okay please patronize us if you are watching this video the link to the website is going to be in the description box below and of course you can just follow us on our social media handle and send us a dm to place your order it means a whole lot to me when you place your order please thank you so let's So guys, 
one hour later i wasn't able to finish it of course i know that i won't be able to finish it because how do i want to finish this slides within one hour but like i said i don't think i'm presenting not i don't think at this point i'm not presenting so i will definitely just continue next week and then present like the next monday hopefully anyways second agenda this is like past nine or past eight i need to um pack the order i need to pack the order because after my class plus thesis i'll be adding up to the delivery point so let's pack the order together i'm gonna keep you guys somewhere <laughs> So guys, I'm heading out to school now. I'm actually late. <laughs> By the time I'll get to school, I will definitely, that I know for sure, I will definitely be late. But thankfully today, the weather is not that cold. It's about 12 degrees. It's cold, but not so much. It's about 12 degrees. I've also packed my shipping bag. I wish I can quickly show you guys how cute this shipping bag is. I don't know if I can meet up with the tram, but let me just look for where to place you guys and show you guys how cute this shipping bag is. Okay, let's do that quickly. So, guys, can you see what it looks like? So I don't know if it's showing but it has like this basket kind of like weaving and I like the fact that the packaging bag because the outfit is actually big I love the fact that the packaging bag sits well on it like it's not squeezing the dress the dress is properly laid and it's able to size the bag and it has like this basket weave so I was just thinking about something and I'm like you know parents you know just imagine my future children watching this video <laughs> how am i going to lie to them okay so i'm just like imagine my future children watching this video how am i going to lie to them that I remember when I was your age I remember when I was in your your age your time you know during my time during my time when we have class by 10 <laughs> I used to be in class by 9 40 <laughs> how will I be able to tell them you know like I feel like I don't know if your parents are in that shoes or like maybe you've had stuff like that from your parents like you know I remember when I was like you I used to go to class early I used to be the first position if every parent is the first whose parents was now the last in the class <laughs> if every parent was the first whose parents was now the last if every parent was the serious one in class whose parents was now the serious one you know so but with videos like this i cannot lie to my unborn children that you know i, I remember your time when we have class by 10 i was a very serious student i used to be in class by 9 40 sometimes i'd be in class by 9 30 you know you should be going to class early you should be in class at least 15 minutes to your classes you should be sitting down waiting for the lecturer and not the lecturer waiting for you you know those kind of things but anyways i hope i'm able to catch up the tram let's go so after classes let me just pass here mm -hmm. so after classes i will definitely head out to ship this dress right i'm going to bring you guys along we're going to go together so let's go so guys 
you know that I was saying that I'm not sure I'm gonna present blah 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 we were about I think four people that were to present this week and I was like if everybody does it there was no need for me to present and no let me shock you guys so I got in late <laughs> I got in late and somebody was presenting and after the person they just called me <laughs> they just called me and I was like what but anyways I had to present my questionnaire right so I just had to present my questionnaire I was like what I've not even like finished the chapter 2 but they were like oh yeah we need to see your questionnaire I was like oh perfect <laughs> I was like perfect okay so I now presented the questionnaire and i'll probably just work on my chapter too so now i'm heading out to the delivery you guys the place is far it's actually far with what i'm seeing with what i'm saying is a long journey but catch up with you guys <laughs> 